If you have a fantasy football question, we implore you to ask it right now. You can hit us up on the Dubell Lumber text board at 609-403-0973 for this week's Fantasy Focus with Jeff Pasquino from the footballguys.com. He joins us as he does every week at this time answering your fantasy football questions. What's going on, Jeff? A lot to get to this week. Yeah, a little bit of injury news in case you haven't heard. <laughs> There's a lot of injury news out there. Let's uh, dive into it now with Jeff. Uh, we'll dive into some injury stuff, the quarterbacks, the running backs, the wideouts. Jeff will have some sleepers, and we'll answer your questions. Let's start with the quarterback spot. Uh, I have some injury problems. I have Ben Roethlisberger. So, if you're a Roethlisberger owner, what about uh, – let's look at some of these quarterbacks. How about Blake Bortles this week against the Raiders? That should be a shootout, so I think that's a great option this week. If uh, if you can get Bortles, I'd certainly use him this week. All right, uh, Kirk Cousins has been uh, much better lately. He's going against the Lions, so do you like Kirk Cousins this week? I do, and I also like Vernon Davis, the sleeper tight end against Detroit, who can't stop anyone. Lance Kendrick scored a touchdown against them. All right, uh, when you're you know when you're an owner and you have to make decisions, sometimes you go matchups. When you have a matchup against the Browns, like Andy Dalton does, do you put him in your lineup? Yes, yes, and yes. So the good thing, I would look for to make sure that Terrell Pryor's in the lineup because if he is, that means Cleveland's going to score, which means this may have to score that much more. So I like Dalton even better if Pryor is active. All right, uh, a couple other quarterback questions. Uh, we accumulate the questions throughout the course of the week. We try to ask about the questions that get asked the most, and a lot of questions this week regarding Sam Bradford against the Eagles. Six touchdowns, no picks, but is he a fantasy guy? I think he's more of a quarterback, too, this week. I think there's much better options. We could be looking at a 13-10, to 16-13 to 13 kind of game against the Eagles. All right, we're talking with Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. If you have a fantasy football question, send it to us on the Dubell Lumber text board, 609-403-0973. Your questions continue to come in. We'll get to them. Don't worry. We're going to go through some running backs now because, as Jeff hinted at, a lot of injuries there. So... Who's the running back in Buffalo if McCoy can't play? It's going to be Mike Gillespie. They, they think it, that there's rumors it could be a committee, but Gillespie has looked the best. He also has a great narrative street story going back to Florida against the team he was cut by. He's going to be extra in, incentivized to run all over Miami. Uh, Jay Ajahi. Last week we said no go, but he went in for 202 touchdowns. Are you going to miss out on that production again? Uh, that's chasing points. I would not necessarily go there. I think he's going to be the lead back. But I wouldn't expect anything close to that production again. I had 42 points sitting on my bench with Jay Ajahe. How about Spencer Ware, uh, Jamal Charles? What's going on with the Kansas City situation? Well, Jamal Charles is showing up with the injury report again, so he may be limited to even out. So where is the guy to go with this week for Kansas City? Talking with Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. What about the situation uh, in um – uh, to, to, to Tampa Bay. What's the running back situation there? Are you going with uh, Jaquiz Rogers? Should I play him? Absolutely. They don't have anybody behind him. Doug Martin is out. San Francisco can't can't stop a running nose. So I think they're going to be run all over. I love all of the Tampa Bay elements this week. Uh, we also look at uh, Tevin Coleman from Atlanta. Is uh, had his lowest touch total of the season last week. People frustrated there because Freeman. So what are you doing with Coleman? I think he's going to be back in the mix. Atlanta-San Diego looks to be one of the biggest shootouts this week. Right up there with Jacksonville, Oakland. I think that all offensive players are in the mix there. James White, LeGarrette Blunt. Do we even touch the Patriot running back situation? Uh, against the Steelers, no, because their secondary is so bad. So I think it's going to be at the uh, Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman show. All right, wide receivers, don't forget, send in your questions. We'll ask Jeff those questions in just a few minutes. 609-403. 0973 wide receiver spots. Uh, all right, uh, we got a lot of questions this week about Michael Thomas. He's playing the Chiefs. Uh, the thing about, first off, Drew Brees isn't as good on the road as he is at home. Uh, Kansas City just stopped Oakland to only 10 points. I would temper expectations for, New, uh, for the New Orleans passing game. I would actually like Mark Ingram a little bit more in this contest. Uh, Stefan Diggs is back. Are you playing him against Philly? He's a little bit banged up. He's probably going to go. He's close enough for people from Maryland to come back up and watch the game. But, again, I think that's a low-scoring game. For him to be really valuable, I have to expect him to score a touchdown. I just don't think that's going to happen this week. 
Kendall Wright had a big game last week. He had a big year a couple of years ago. Then he kind of, you know, vanished. But Kendall Wright, is he the Tennessee wideout you want? I'm not sure which one to like, to be honest. I think that you've got three guys that are all there, but none of them are on the field more than 50% of the time. So I think the guy to really go with for a passing game, aside from Mariota, is to go back to the tight end with Delaney Walker. All right. A couple other names that had big weeks last week. Uh, how about Kenny Britt, uh, former Titan, now Ram? Kenny Britt, a fantasy player? He's getting the bulk of the work there. Um, uh, and But it was a good matchup against uh, Detroit. It just seemed to all come together. Um, Britt is getting the most targets, but I don't have him more than a wide receiver three or flex. All right, we'll get Jeff's sleepers uh, for this week in just a minute, but we're going to answer your questions now uh, from the text board, 609-403-0973. All right, let's start with this one. Pick three, Jeff, Terrence West, Christine Michael, Melvin Gordon, or Devontae Freeman. So which one's out of that mix? Uh, I'd actually take Melvin Gordon out of that because I think San Diego could be throwing the ball over the place. And they spread the ball out so much. I really like West this week. I think he's a sleeper, especially with Joe Flacco banged up. Do I start Diggs or Baldwin? I would go with Diggs because he's the number one wide receiver. Arizona covers well on the outside, but they had a struggle with the tight end. So I think they're going to be run on. And I wouldn't. Tr- I would go with Diggs in that matchup. Yeah, a lot of questions this week. All right, Jamal Charles or Terrence West? You just said you like West. It's a PPR league. Uh, West all day long, especially with Charles banged up. All right, uh, Vernon Davis touchdown last week or Charles Clay PPR league. Both are decent options, but Vernon Davis is probably starting for Jordan uh, Jordan Reed, and we just uh, Detroit can't stop anybody in a, in, a, in a tight end. So I love Vernon Davis this week. Uh, Andrew Luck or Blake Bortles. Houston, uh, or sorry, Tennessee's going to get after Andrew Luck, and they can't defend. So I think that uh, Blake Boros is a safer option. Okay, flex player, uh, Jackie's Rodgers for Tampa or Gates at the flex? Absolutely Rodgers. I like Hunter Henry way more than Gates. All right, uh, we're talking with Jeff Pasquino. Footballguys.com, a couple more questions. Flex guy, Gronk or Jamal Charles? Gronk, Gronk, Gronk. <laughs> Uh, Sports Pass 97.3 ESPN. We'll get to uh, Jeff's uh, sleepers for the week in just a minute. We got some more questions. We'll take one more round of your questions. Uh, Spencer Ware this week or Jay Ajahi? Boy, there's another Ajahi. The uh, people must have flocked out on the waiver wire for him this week. We got a lot of questions about him. Be aware of the injury report. It's all Spencer Ware. Spencer Ware. So you like him this week. All right. uh, How about wide receiver? Uh, What's the kid's name in Minnesota? Thielen? Is that how we're saying his name this year? Yeah. All right. So, yeah. uh, feeling Chris Hogan or Kendall Wright? We need one. Hogan. I think that he's the deep threat for New England. Um, I, and I like how Tom Brady's targeting him four or five times a week. All right. Uh, Jeff, uh, we'll get some of your picks for the week now. Who are some of the under the radar sleeper players that you like for week number seven? I mentioned like all the pieces in Tampa Bay, so here's two sleepers. Jameis Winston, a quarterback, is a viable wide receiver. Quarterback one this week. Uh, be great if you wide receiver. Uh, Cameron <laughs> Wright at tight end uh, is also a good option. I also like Dennis Pitta because Steve Smith is banged up. At running back, we mentioned Gillisley and we mentioned Rodgers, but don't sleep on Mike Davis for San Francisco. He could be a very sleeper if it's in a deep league, pick him up. Wide receiver, Adam Humphreys, another sleeper out in Tampa Bay. Uh, Vincent Jackson just went on the IR. He's the, he was the slot man, now he's the wide receiver too. He can put up solid numbers. All right, there you go. Adam Humphreys, uh, there's a guy for wide receiver help. Uh, I'm one of those guys who needs wide receiver help. Uh, If you have questions for Jeff, every week, 3.30, right here on the Sports Bash, we look at your fantasy football teams. Good questions this week, everybody. Keep them coming. We'll get to Jeff again next week right here on the Sports Bash. Jeff, good luck to you, my friend. Good luck, everyone. Enjoy the games.